Well, I was going to say good morning, it's turned out nice again. Well, that's not going to work today. Uh, I was going to say, all right, guys, but all right, guys, you're not all right. So uh, I don't know how to start this video, really. Uh, it's Tuesday, the 23rd of August, 2022, and you're watching Cocktog.tv. All right, I'm going to win it. I'm going to win it. Hey, might be a shit day, but you never know. There might be a bit of flange watching Crank Up the Flange. As Shauna would say, sorry, it's a cop talk TV Saturday night streaming joke, and we need a joke right now. So yesterday I made a video saying, you know, what's your thoughts of the game, you know, ahead of the game, and the reason I did that was because I was feeling a little bit, I wouldn't say squeaky bum going into that game, but I was feeling a bit unsure about it. And I just thought, I wonder if anybody else is thinking the same as me. Now, normally I'd think, do you know what? We're going to batter them. Do you know what I mean? Even though it's Old Trafford because we're brilliant and they're not. Right? Um, but yesterday I thought, they've started badly. We've started badly. This has got the potential to be, you know, a, a catastrophe or whatever. Now, another scoreline uh, wasn't the worst in the world. Uh, however, I just thought our performance was dreadful, just totally dreadful. And some it's not right. Uh, you know, just something's not right. Now, this isn't a knee-jerk reaction. This isn't like, you know, going all in, you know, like, because I, I could have done that last night after the game. So I thought, no, you know, sleep on it uh, and, and think about it and, and see what we can come up with to, today, you know, together. Now, I was looking at the stats here. Uh, from last night. He said that we had 70% possession last night. Sounds very flattering. Uh, we had 17 shots, five on target. They had 12 shots, four on target. We had eight corners, they had six. They fouled us 11 times, we fouled them seven. So we had five shots on target, and I can honestly say to you, I don't remember a single shot on target in that game. I'm sure if I watched a replay, I, I would and think, oh yeah, I remember that. Um... You know, and it's just, I don't know, like, you know, like the mead, like Martin Tyler was getting right on my tits last night. He was doing my noddling. He really was. Um, I, I don't know what to say, guys. I don't know what to say. So let's have a think. Um, let's look at the team. Let's look at the, can we get the team on here? How do I do that? Come on. Uh, Liverpool, where are we? Lineups. All right. Now, Henderson, you know, I've seen people talking today saying Henderson shouldn't be in the side. Uh, people saying Milner shouldn't be in the side. At least he showed some passion. Uh, Elliot, to me, I just thought he looked out of his depth. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, I thought this was a game for men. Uh, and uh, I don't want to be disrespectful or anything. But, I, well, let's just say a, men, a game for experience. Um I spoke to someone today that doesn't really know much about football. They, like me, uh, they don't really follow football. They like to watch the games on, you know, in the background or have them on, and they do show a passing interest in results and things like that. But I wouldn't say that they were someone that would be as knowledgeable as yourself, maybe. You know, those of you that comment, you're going to comment because you've got strong opinions. Uh, this person doesn't have strong opinions. But they said to me today, they, the first thing they said to me today was the midfield was terrible. And I actually repeated it back to them because I know that they don't really know football. You know, like we do. I'm not trying to say that they're thick. It's just not their passion. Uh, and I, I repeated it back and I went, did you just say the midfield was terrible? Like the midfield? And they went, yeah. And they, and they explained it to me, you know, about why they came to that opinion. And I was like, well, I said, that's what every Liverpool fan is saying at the moment is about the midfield, you know. I think we're missing a Wayne Alden, for example, you know, a genie, something like that. Uh, you know, we've got players arguing on the pitch with each other. The players look tired, um, don't look ready, don't look that... I don't know, are we missing Mane? Is it Mane? Is it all because of Mane? Is it because of all the injuries? Now, you see, I look at the players, right, that are injured, because that's the first thing I wanted to think about last night was the players that were injured, because that bench was shocking, guys, wasn't it? You know, and again, I discussed this today with my friend and said, well, we've got a lot of players that are injured. And they went, well, have, as, as Liverpool, they said to me, was Liverpool not like thought about that? You know, like the manager or whatever. 
have they not thought about that? We've got these injuries and that bench is looking a bit thin, so do we not do something in the market? And we all know that's very difficult. You can't go out and buy a great player for a couple of weeks because then they won't be happy sat on the bench and things like that. So it's not as easy as how we may uh, look at it. But I'll tell you why I think so much wrong. And I mentioned this yesterday. Uh, I think I did it in a, in a video. I didn't do a podcast yesterday. I'm sorry, guys. I'm out of time, but I will be doing one today. Um, the manager, is his quotes... Uh, I think of the most telling yet since he's been the manager about he's again not in charge of the money he can't make the decisions you know if 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 ever you've got a manager trying to say to you I want to do something but they're not letting me then there it is now this is no conspiracy theory this is no FSG out mantra this is just genuine uh, you know I read the quotes you say I, I'm not going to dig them out now because I can't be asked I'm sure you've all seen them uh, and it reminded me of, I don't know if it was January or it was another window, not so like, you know, because of the COVID pandemic and that when football got cancelled, my diary in my mind, you know, like when I look back and go, that was three windows ago, or I can't remember now, it's all gone. But I do remember there was one, I think it was a January window, you guys might remember, when he came out and I thought, ooh, that doesn't sound right at all. Now, he can't really complain because he knows what the working conditions are at Liverpool, especially when he extends his contract, etc., etc. Sorry, guys, but I'm not letting my tea go cold. And, um... Do you know what? If I'd have made a video last night, I'd have been fucking raging, now I'm thinking about it. I, I thought about getting the tripod out and everything... Uh, but I don't want to give myself an heart attack, you know what I mean? I mean, I know I've lost a lot of weight, but it's still I'm still a fat git. Uh, I don't want to be, like, going fucking ballistic. But, uh, uh, sorry, I digress. Uh, the manager, you know, you looked at how much we've spent net spend. Oh, here we go again, net spend, boys. Where Where's James Pierce now? With his, where's the net spend, boys? You know, whatever comment, sarcasm he comes out with. I don't know. Should, look, maybe we should just take it and say, well, it was our rivals. You know, anything can happen versus Manchester United. Yes, it can, but they're fucking shite. And we're brilliant, usually. Um... It's you know it's it's a derby game it's 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 a local battle the two giants of English football yeah I know and it's usually boring as well when because the, the Sky Sports big it up beyond belief and it's usually drab as fuck let's be honest um, you know maybe we should just be like well it, it, it's it's the injuries that's right it's just the injuries I don't think it'd have been any fucking different I, do you know what Mane and Wijnaldum in that side different game I think. Am I being wrong? Or am I just clutching at the obvious? What, what? I don't understand. I need you to tell me. Something's not right. I know you won't like this next comment, but I'm a realist and I think the league's over already. That's what I think. Because you only got to look at last season, how, you know, the, the, the gap, you know, and it's no good like trying to get all those points at the end of the season. It starts on day one. Try not to get angry. What else is on my fucking screen? Uh, I, I just I, let me go back to that lineup. I want to go back to that lineup. Uh, I mean, the bench last night was terrible. All right, but you've got loads of injured players, Dunk. All right, so, all right, okay. I've got to stick with that then. I don't know. I don't know what the problems are, but there's something fundamentally wrong. I, it's like there's, it's like a, 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 a like morale has dropped or something. Uh, players shouting at each other, you know, Milner and, and Van Dijk, and, you know, it's just frustration, good, that's good to see, passion's good to see, but why are we not our usual calm, cool, you know, I don't have the answers, I don't have the answers, and I'm not basing it just on last night's game, guys, something's not right, you know, the manager is clearly uh, unhappy, that he hasn't been backed. Now, I, I can only say that's speculative on my part. I cannot back that statement up. And I'll be honest with you, I'm not going to lie and say, oh, someone's been messaging me that's in a well-placed you know, placed position you know, to have that opinion. No one's saying that to me. Nobody. But them comments that he... I, I hope you've seen them comments that he said the other day. Why is Liverpool Football Club, when we've just gone through our most successful period in recent times... Not spending money. Now, I know, listen, right, before you start caps locking me to death, right, I'm not naive. Yeah, I'm not saying go and spend 100 million, 150 million, 80, 90 million on Bellingham or something like that. But 
I can't get my head round how we didn't sign that Matthias Nunes. You know, I know some of you go, we were never in. I don't believe that. His agent's got a good relationship with Liverpool Football Club and we were most definitely in. And I can't get my head around how we didn't do that deal. If you guys, you know, read something, uh, tell me, educate me, because I'm confused with it. Um, I honestly thought that we would get him before the end of this window. When people were asking me, do you think we'll sign someone? I said, yeah, I think we will. A uh, good chance, I reckon, but it'll be right at the death is what I said, right at the very death. And in my mind, I'm thinking it's going to be that Mateus Nunes. There are other midfield players that have been linked with us. Um, maybe it's just a blip. You know, maybe we've, when, we, when we do get these injured players back, we'll be all right. But to me, I, you know, I, I don't overreact, I don't think. I'm not a drama queen. You know, I, I don't flip-flop with my opinions, you know. Um, I mean, someone's going to get a fucking paste in, aren't they? But it just didn't. It just didn't feel right. I felt like we really missed Mane last night. But come on, player, make all that difference when you look at the other quality, as Rafa would say. And I know that the youngsters can give their all, and we might be excited about them and all that. But this is all Trafford. Do you know what I mean? This is Manchester United. Doesn't matter how shit they are. You know the atmosphere that it they raise the game. It's the enemy, isn't it? We're the enemy to them. I just didn't feel like we had any leaders out there. I mean, we got Virgil van Dijk. I thought it was pretty cool. Milner's giving him rock all, and you know, I they didn't it didn't spill over or anything. You know, it was just like mm, yeah, right, fucking all right, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Henderson, five yard. You know, used to take the piss out of him all the time in a nice way. Five yard because he only ever used to pass five yards. And uh, he used to have the highest statistics for passing, or certainly up there in the Premier League. And my cousin that supports Leeds United pulled me up on it and said, hang on a minute, most of them passes are five yards back to the defenders. Something's not right, guys. I don't know what the answer is. I mean, maybe we'll just kick on now, win a game and kick on or something like that. I don't know. I think there's just something wrong. I think the manager is genuinely um, frustrated at something. And I think it's obvious that it's to do with the window. And who is it that he wanted that is not being given? Was it Nunes? Is it something else? We don't know. No one's talking. How do we find this out? I know who I can message today. Let me open that up now. Because that will remind me when I finish this video, because I'll fucking forget. Uh, let's let me just. I know this is might sound silly, but at the end of the video, I tend to talk that much that I forget what I'm doing. But I'm going to message him and see what he says. Mm. So if the if let's just let's just speculate. We're only trying to find the answers. We're not shit stirring. We're just speculating, right? Let's say the manager is genuinely a little bit, you know, pissed off, all right? Because his comments were pissed. He, he, you can't read them comments and spin it into a positive with me. I would love you to try. Let's say, let's say I'm right. My, my, not my right, my, my speculations, right? My, you know, my hunch, my, my thoughts. I'm throwing this one at you. All right, let, what do you think? To the boss ain't right, that rubs off on a few people, doesn't it? Do you know what I'm saying? Are the players thinking the same as the boss? Are the players thinking, well, hang on a minute. See, this this is something else. My friend said to me this morning, this is someone that doesn't follow all the football and Liverpool have done some business. But they said to me, you know, other teams seem to, in the summer, build and get better. Whereas Liverpool tend to be a bit like, we can manage as we are. You know, we did this last year or we did that. So we're all right. We don't need to panic. They, are, they were of the opinion that other clubs show more ambition. There you go. They know nothing about what we think when we talk about net spend, FSG and all that. They don't know any of that. This is from totally, you know, someone that's blind to what we discuss all the time. And I always think that one of the best things you can do as a football supporter is get the opinions of your rivals, right? So... 
I want to speak to a Manchester United fan today and say, well, what do you think about Liverpool? What do you reckon? You know, we're talking a mature one, not one that's like 15 that's going, you know, you shit, movie, and all that shite. I mean, you know, proper, like, grown-up, you know what I mean? It's just, if you listen to them, they're the ones that will be honest with you because your own supporters will be biased, right? They'll be biased. Rival fans can be biased, but pick the ones that you know that are just, that have got something about them. You know, and say to them, what do you think it is with Liverpool? Someone said to me uh, today, Manchester United fan, he said, Liverpool have been found out. Now, I don't believe that. I don't think it's as easy as that. Because every time we lose a game, you know, rival fans say to me, Liverpool have been found out. I don't think that's true. I don't think it's that at all. What a load of shite. Because that Liverpool side last night looked nothing like its normal self. So it wasn't pinned back or anything because they worked out how to deal with us. We just didn't have that strength to get stuck the fuck in. You know, where was your, where's your, where's your midfield fucking, you know, what, what, what do you want to call him? Engine fucking power man. Like, fuck it, do you know what I mean? Where's he? They couldn't tackle fucking a packet of crisps, opening a packet of crisps, some of them fuckers, man. This is Manchester United. Right, you tell me one Liverpool player right now, right, that's going to get stuck in all right, and send someone into next fucking week in a tackle, right? We're thinking Stephen Gerrard here at Old Trafford. You know what I fucking mean. How do I explain it? You know? I don't fucking know. Let me look at that fucking team again. Elliot Henderson Milner, there's your midfield three. Come on, guys. Seriously. When you look at that three, all right, as as... I'm trying to be as respectful as possible here. We've got a young boy, right? He's a great player. We know that he's a good player. But I looked at him last night and I thought, he's no Coutinho. I'm sorry, guys, if you don't like me saying that. And we know he's a little shyster, right? I might have forgiven him a little bit. But he, you know, Elliot or Coutinho at Old Trafford, who would you rather have? At the moment, Elliot later, fine. Henderson, he's been great for us. We used to take the piss, but he's been an outstanding skipper at times. There's no doubt about that, right? He's a bit of, fan, a bit of a fanny as well at times. Milner, right? I mean, seriously, that, that cunt's going to be in a wheelchair soon, still fucking bombing around the pitch, isn't he, with a bag of piss attached to him? You know what I mean? He's not getting younger, is he? But he's still got the passion. I mean, I've seen people slaughtering him today, and I, I don't understand that, mate. Mm. Everyone seems to be saying, um, you know, Milner, Hendo, Bobby are all past their time. Uh, and receding quickly to not have gone and bought a top centre midfielder this summer was criminal. If I hear it's going to be Curtis Jones, you, one more time, I will scream. You see, this is on the Cop Top members' website. Um, we, had Nab we had Nabby, didn't we? Nabby lad. You know what I mean? Injured. Um, get rid of me, he's fucking useless. I mean, I'd be, I'd be able to put a pair of boots on and do better than him. People, people were saying about uh, about Robbo as well. Robbo needs benching at least a bit for now. Everyone's like really fucking. Uh, we do have free forums, you know, coptalk.com forward slash forums. There's some good people in there. Um, Klopp is very obstinate, stubborn in his press conferences. I just wish he was the same with the owners. Maybe he is, but they're either not listening or not ready to fully back him. But we've been saying it for years. And what happens is you lift some silverware, then everyone forgets. Because everything's, you know, fine. Do you know what I mean? That's the problem. It's like, you know, I was listening to some Manchester United fans last night, you know, talking about the protests, and they were like... Some people had to spell this out, that... After the game, you know, they got their win, right? Which is a big win for them. And, and people are still saying, yeah, but it doesn't change anything. You've still got to get rid of them. We're a bit different to that, I think, Liverpool. We're a bit like FSG out, FSG out, FSG out. Oh, look, we've won a trophy. Keep them. It's all right. Everything we forgot now. No, I think you take your eye off the ball. When you take your eye off it and you leave them alone, that's when I think they go, oh, we can chance it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Where's the money? Show me the money. I want to do that, that scene now. Tom Cruise, you know what I'm saying? Show me the money. All right, you need the, you need the music to go a bit, don't you? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know. Bah, that fucking tea's gorgeous, man. I tell you what. Right, let's have a look on here. I want to have a look at the fixtures. Bournemouth. 
Right, so we've got Bournemouth up right, okay, Bournemouth. Uh, and then we've got Newcastle. Newcastle, yeah, they're, fucking, they're always up for a game against us, aren't they? Let's have a look at that Premier League table. How are Bournemouth doing? Uh, all right, they're, they're next to us. Three, three points. We've got two points. We've got we've got two points from a possible nine. What the fuck? Um, they've won a game, Bournemouth. <laughs> they've won one, drawn zero and lost two, whereas we've drawn two and lost one. I mean, it's not the end of the world when you look at it like that. Fast forward, you know, next year or something, or at midway point Christmas, and we could be right in the top three. Uh, we'd be looking at that if we get the wins, but... I don't know. Listen, I, you know, I I think a lot of you will be saying, let's not panic. You know, don't panic. It's just, it's early. I get that, but it, it is early. But I think we've already chucked the table, uh, the title, if you like. I think that's gone. You, you, when Man City lose, you've got to capitalise on that. You know? And maybe, you know, like my friend was saying that other teams want to do better, but Man City have let some players go. You know, I think that disrupts things a little bit. It's not, like, I don't know, I don't want to say, like, uh, it's a disaster. We lost the game. Was it the first time Man United beat us in four years or something like that? Who oh, gives a fuck? You know what I mean? Let them have their little cup final win. The point is, something not right. That's what I think. Something not right. And even if they turn it round now and go on and, you know, and everything's changed, then then great, but I don't, I think that title's gone, mate, like, I know that's maybe a bit, like, I mean, some of you be going, don't talk, it's a ridiculous big dunk, it's only August, mate, I know that, but, you know, this, this league's fucking, you saw it last year, you know, the points, points make prizes, you know, Arsenal, look at Arsenal, win, 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 Man City, even Leeds are up there, Spurs, I know it's early, and I know this table swaps round, you know, we won't be down there, but, so it's not right, guys. So it's not right. Tell me what you're thinking. I want to know what you're thinking. <sighs> them manager's comments, man. They're not right, them. They're not right, them. They're not fucking right, them. Mm. Okay. I'm sorry, I guess this video is not really offering you much, but uh, this video is more about trying to work out what's, what's wrong. You lose a game and you don't, like go into this mode, do you? You know, you lose a game, you don't come out going, oh my God, there's a problem. No, I think there is a problem. I'm not basing it on last night's game. It's just something that doesn't seem right. And um, I don't know how you put that right. Maybe it is losing Mane. Maybe it is not having a Wijnaldum in the side anymore. You know, maybe it is ageing midfield players, for example. Um, you know, what about contracts and things like that? Do people get a contract and then go, I can relax a bit now? Uh, maybe there's uncertainty over certain players, although I don't think most people will be worried about what happens to, say, Firmino or something. Um, there's some, there were some good players available in the summer, and I'm a bit surprised that we didn't do more. And maybe now, you know, maybe now something will happen. Who knows? I certainly will be watching this window right to the death. Uh, normally I give up, you know, I think, now nah, now it's going to happen. But now there's a part of me that's like that. Come on, seriously, we've got to do something, guys, man. Maybe it's just injuries, you know, because that's how, you know, that's how your management are going to look and say to you. They're going to say, well, you know, you, you tell me that you wouldn't be a stronger side if you had all them players fit. You can't argue with that, can you? You can't argue with that. But injuries is part of the game, isn't it? Injuries, that bench last night, I mean, seriously. Before the game had even kicked off, I thought, well, if this goes pear-shaped, who's going to save us? You know what I'm saying? Mm. Listen, I do, don't just watch this video and not, you know, give a comment, all right? Don't be lazy. We need to know what you think. Your voice is important. Don't just listen to me, some fat mush, just telling you what he thinks. I am no genius. Well, I am a genius, to be honest. But I'm, I'm not, like, for one minute suggesting that I've got the answers, because I haven't, and maybe it's just a blip, I don't know, but I'm a bit squeaky bum about it, to be honest, I, I think so much wrong, and I hope I am wrong, okay, I'll leave it with you, please do drop me a comment, I would like you to single out any players from last night, yeah, don't be worried about sticking the boot in, you're still supporting a player, you're allowed to, you're allowed to criticise someone, yeah, you can watch my videos and go, I love Dunks Fitz, they're good, but that one's wrong, he didn't do very good in that one. It's fine. We're allowed to do that. 
Have we become too complacent? I'm sure a year ago I said that. I'm sure I said that last summer. That like the the attitude is like we've just won this, so we can go and do this now. Like complacency. Whereas you'll see Manchester City win some major silverware, and the day the season concludes, they've already got a new player in straight away. Like, boom, in. And you will argue and say that we've 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 done some business, absolutely. But have we done enough? That's what I want to know. Want to know? All right, go on. I'm off. Fucking pissed off. All right. See you in a bit, guys. Drop me a comment, please. Thumbs up the video if you can be bothered. Uh, tell, me, tell me what you think. Uh, I, I'm, I'm completely lost. I mean, I, I, it's not the end of the world for me. You're right. Do you know what I mean? Like, normally losing to Manchester United would be. But the great Liverpool team that we know and we're used to seeing in the performances, if they'd lost to, 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 to the scum, the enemy, I would have been devastated today. But going into that game last night, I was, you know, a bit bit edgy about it. I don't know what it is. Okay, speak to you in a bit.